now do we have audio. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, testing. I think we have audio, guys. I think we have audio. All right. Sometimes, guys, you got to work with stuff, you know? Got to work with things. All right. So, let's go ahead and get this spin done. I got just some little background music playing. I don't even know if it's going to be any good. It's free domain, free to use uh, music. So, let's, uh, let's get our spin on, guys. So, please tell me if you can hear me, if you're watching. I don't know why I got the music playing, I can't even hear it. Today is Halloween. I did not hit that. That's what she said. So hopefully people can hear me. I don't usually do too many live streams anymore. doing all that. Maybe that's better. You can let me know in the comments if anybody tunes in. I'll try and keep up the comments here because I can't see my computer. And even if I could see my computer, I can't type on my computer. So we'll be doing that from the phone. Now, if you hear something in the microphone, it's going to be the wind from this fan. You know, equipment makes noises. That's what she said. So, anyway, I hope everybody has a good Halloween. If you celebrate it, if you don't, you probably should. It's one holiday you can enjoy and not have to worry about religions and all this other kind of stuff. You just... Have a good time. It's a good spooky holiday. Good stuff. <coughs> Happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween! Again, I don't usually do too many live streams anymore. Uh, really don't have too many people join in, so... 
typically don't, you know, waste my time too much. But I thought I would today. And I don't, I never have time to schedule them. Some people schedule live streams a month in advance. I don't schedule stuff, it just happens. You know, I'm sitting there, I'm fixing to get up here and spin. And then I, th I said to myself, Self, let's do a live stream. So, I did a live stream. I took a picture, I edited the picture for the thumbnail, did that, did all the other stuff, and here we are. I don't have time for scheduling. Ain't got time. Ain't got time for scheduling. Water. Now see, I'm watching this. I'm watching me spin. I had a dream whenever I started working out. I had a dream that I would have my own area to work out. And I could have people over and I could do live streams. And, uh make things a little bit more fun and engaging and kind of have a daily show even just live streaming workouts and spinning and uh, treadmills and other different things other different workouts and different things uh, I kind of had a dream those of you that are older you remember the shows that would come on TV like on ESPN and different stuff like that where they had workout programs and cardio and all this other kind of stuff and different kind of things. And then they did it, you know, every morning it was a show. So that's kind of, that's where I wanted to go with all this at one time. I just thought it would be a lot of fun, interesting, but number one, I don't have the space. Number two, I don't have enough equipment. Number three, I don't have anybody that's interested. So there's a lot. There's a lot kind of going against me there. Now, if money was no object, I could get me a building and get me some more equipment, and I could probably find some people to join in. But that's not. That's not what's going to happen right now. Not with, not with how the economy is and everything. I can't, uh, I can't justify adding another monthly payment to have a building. So, and then having to get more equipment. And probably get another computer so I can do live streams from that building. So, what you get is you get me every day working out, spinning, walking and talking. That's kind of what you get. Now, normally when I'm spinning, I'm watching uh, a program. I watch Hercules' Legendary Journey, uh, old 90s TV show. I really enjoy watching that. But, doing live streams and doing this kind of stuff and then trying to watch something, it's kind of difficult. And plus, they get you, they'll shut your live stream down for copyright, you know, problems, things. So, whenever I live stream, typically, uh, there's nothing really going on in the background to make it interesting. So... Anywho, so uh, if you've not kept up 
with my channel and my lifts and all the things that I'm kind of doing, I have reached and surpassed some of my goals that I've had. So, uh, let's start with sitting dumbbell shoulder presses. Now, I didn't even really have these on my radar to try to do well at, but I quickly decided that I wanted that to be a part of my uh, kind of big list that I do. And so, uh, I'm at the point now where I can do 100 pound dumbbells. Um, so far, I've been able to do five reps the most. And uh, usually I do two or three sets. I'll get like two reps or three reps, four reps. So, I've hit that PR. I, I can do 100 pound dumbbell shoulder presses. I have surpassed my sitting barbell shoulder press, which 10 years ago, or 2010, was 245 pounds. Now I've, now I've maxed out at uh, 260 pounds. Very happy with those two lifts. To me, shoulders are just as important or more important than the other main lifts. Very important. Uh, let's see. On my squats, I'm getting really close to being able to do 405 pounds for one rep at a decent rep. Uh, a rep that I'm proud of. I don't care about what the internet says. It's a rep that I'm proud of. So I'm getting close to getting that. And that's my goal is 405 and that's it on squats. So I can do it. It's just not real pretty. And let's see. My bench press. Uh, my old PR for my bench press was 375. I'm up to 355. I did that last week. So we're getting close to that PR. My big goal, really, for bench, I would love to do 400 pounds. You know, I don't know if I'll be able to make it with my arms and my arm issues that I have. and uh, but, but we're going to get there. We're going to do our best. I have a feeling I'll at least match 375. Now, on to the big daddy. One that I've really put a lot of time and effort into are my deadlifts. Now, I didn't really do deadlifts years ago that often. They were just periodic. Kind of like my working out. I wasn't as dedicated back then. But uh, back then, I only, I really remember, and I only have proof of doing about maybe 375 or something like that. Uh, there's a video on here somewhere. You can go find it. I think it's under old lifts or something, a uh, playlist. I've now reached 455 pounds just this Saturday, this past Saturday. Uh, again, that don't mean I'll do it again, but I got it this one time. And I got video proof, you can go watch my video. So, I've really been busting my butt with deadlifts. And uh, I'm able to push myself harder with my shoulder presses and my deadlifts because I don't need a spot. And with my chest, it's taken a little bit longer to get up to where I want it to be because I need a spot. So, well, my chest is going to take a little bit longer. And uh, something else I want to touch on is, you know, I look at where I'm at now, and I'm saying to myself, you know, I'm stronger now, or right there as strong, if not stronger, than I was in my prime, my quote-unquote prime. But, I have to remember that I wasn't as dedicated to working out all that time in the past as I have been the last year and a half, almost two years. I mean, it's two totally different 
two totally different Michaels. This Michael works out six days a week, does cardio seven days a week, eats healthy six days a week, kind of six and a half days. On my cheat day, I also eat healthy as well. Every day, I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. Every day, I don't miss. Even when my back, my back goes completely out, I'm still lifting 20 pound dumbbells and lifting a bar and doing something. I don't, I don't care, I don't miss. Same thing with walking, same thing with spinning. Don't care, don't miss. Before, whenever I started working out, roughly 95, six, seven, somewhere in there, up until I finally quit in the end of 2010, beginning of 2011, there was hit and miss days, weeks, months, years, all in there. I wasn't dedicated at all. And I look at that and I think, well, I got as strong as I did doing that halfway. And my diet was garbage, the great American diet. And I look at how strong I got not being dedicated. And I think, man, if I would have been as dedicated then as I've been this last year and a half, two years, whatever it's been, almost two years, if I had been that dedicated back then, there's no telling you know, what I would have got to. So, I'm not necessarily stronger, but I am stronger, if you know what I'm saying. It's like, I could have been stronger. I could have done more, but I didn't. So now, I guess technically I'm stronger. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. And I also, uh, I touched on a little subject today on my walk. Of course, I try to put it in a minute video because short videos get seen by more people. But we'll put it here just for poops and giggles. I was thinking today of, of how the internet and the fitness community and, you know, uh, competitions lifting competitions, bodybuilding stage, all this kind of stuff. All this stuff revolves around your elites, your elite athletes. And we know that all, the, all those elite athletes are on some sort of performance enhancing drug. Uh, so that kind of takes away some of the validity, some of the greatness in my opinion. A little bit. I still love them, and I've, I've supported it and loved it my whole life. But it kind of takes away some of the the power. Whenever you stop and think that you got people like me out here, and lots more people better than me, bigger, stronger, faster, everything. And but we're out here doing this naturally with no steroid, HGH, testosterone, no sort of, any sort of pharmaceuticals. It's just hard work, eating, sleeping, doing it every day. And we don't really get the recognition that all these other people get because, well, they're bigger, they're stronger, they got beautiful muscles, they have abs, flat stomachs, beautiful, amazing people, guys, girls, front to back, up and down, beautiful. Amazing physiques from just your gymnast to your fitness competitors to your classic physiques to your open bodybuilders to, you know, all this stuff. All these people are beautiful. They're amazing. But then you got the regular people out here like me who don't necessarily look the part, and we're not lifting a thousand pounds, and we're not squatting a thousand pounds, and we're not deadlifting a thousand pounds, and we're not able to do 100 pull-ups, a thousand sit-ups. We're not the people out here that are cut and lean and paper-thin skin and on magazine covers and books 
we're not the ones out here being noticed because we're not perfect. And I'm okay with perfection because I like looking at perfect looking people. I like looking at them. We're attracted to them. We're not attracted to this. Most people. Most people like our idea of perfection, which is usually very fit to fit. You know? So, but I just got to thinking how wouldn't it be nice if we were, if we were noticed and pushed out there and publicized and getting sponsors and on magazine covers and being, you know, interviewed on the social, big social media platforms and spotlighted and, and all that kind of stuff. Wouldn't it be nice to see us normal, everyday people out there getting some recognition? And showing normal everyday people what is accomplishable. Is that a word? Uh, my hard work, dedication, in the gym, out of the gym, in the kitchen, out of the kitchen. You know, I just think it would be nice if we got a little recognition. And you have channels like mine that put out countless videos of somebody progressing day after day after day after day and trying to give a you know a good positive message. And it gets lost in the 10 billion videos. And likely two people in the world out of 9 billion people will see this video. One of them is going to be me. So, and there's there's a, a, a ton of people out there just like me. So, it would just be nice if we all got some recognition like I think we deserve. So I have already done my walk. It was misting. A nice little rainy mist the whole time. It's kind of been raining and misty ever since Saturday uh, Saturday night. It's been a little bit rainy and misty. Got my breakfast done. I've had two breakfasts actually. When I woke up this morning for work, I had a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios and some coffee. And uh, when I got done with my walk, I had uh, some fried sweet potato and uh, my breakfast burrito that I eat all the time. And I had an orange. I think my wife bought me oranges instead of mandarin oranges. I like mandarin oranges. Smaller, easier to peel. I get those all the time. And I had a tomato. Little, little tomato. So, last year, we had a really awesome Halloween party here. We threw a nice little Halloween party and uh, it's probably on my channel. If it's not on this channel, it's on Mikey Sun TV. M-I-K-I-E-S-O-N TV. Go look in the playlist. It might be in there or it might be on this one. I don't remember. But we threw a nice little Halloween party and uh, we had plans to throw one this year. Like right, right from the start, we thought, well, let's do it again next year. But Again, kind of the economy has hit us, and every, everything's just so expensive, and we struggle every day as it is. On top of that, we got a couple of people in our family that moved, moved away, and we had a really close family member, uh, a brother-in-law, that died. Uh, so it's just been, it's, it's kind of not the right time. And uh, hopefully next year, if everything looks a little better, maybe we'll, we'll throw another big Halloween party. Because I had a really good time last time. And uh, there was a lot of work getting set up and getting people, you know, to get out and to get dressed up and have fun. And, but we had a good time and we played some, some games that we kind of 
uh, made up out, outside and had a good time. Music and dancing and, you know, had a good time. So hopefully, uh, hopefully everything will be okay to where maybe we can do that in 2023. High hopes, I guess. Think positive. Positive. Positive thinking. What movie is that from? Positive. Positive thinking. So today is leg day. I will likely be focusing on squats and probably going uh, up to 405 to try to get one good decent rep. Probably today. I feel like doing that. And uh, like I did last week, I actually did legs twice in, the, in, the, in one week. I did Monday. And then I think I did it again. I did something else uh, Wednesday. I did. I think I did squats Monday, and then Wednesday I think I did the hack press. So I may do something like that again this week because honestly, squats don't do as much for my quads as they do for my hamstrings and my glutes. My quads get hit whenever I do my hat press. And sorry, I'm kind of holding myself. I got heat. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I need a clothespin. Or a catheter. One of the two. Uh, but yeah, and those, those are really the only two things that I've got as far as machines go. Uh, I wish, I want to get a leg extension, leg curl. But right now they're just kind of expensive and it's the holidays and I got a couple of doctor bills that I got to focus on and different things. So I'm not, I'm not going to try and buy anything. And plus I got a couple more of my action figures that I collect that are supposed to come out this year. And that's another, you know, maybe $40, uh, $50 right there. So I don't want to spend any more money right now. But eventually, I'm going to have to get a leg extension, leg curl machine. I wish I knew how to weld because I'd make all my own stuff. I've always been that way. I've always been someone who likes to make his own stuff, do his own thing. You can see that pad right there, that dance pad. I made that years ago. I've actually made five of them. I've sold four. Got this one. Still got this one. I always make stuff. My desk, made my desk. I made the desk at our other house, and it was a lot bigger than this desk. And uh, I made my own movie screens. I make my own everything. I like doing my own stuff, even if it's not perfect, a hundred percent like perfect, perfect. I still like doing my own stuff because it makes me feel good. I have a, a more uh, attachment to it. And I can even build my own computer. This one that I got here is uh, a pre-made computer I bought. But I can even I can build computers to get them going. I just don't like doing that much anymore. Too much of a problem. Computers are a pain in the butt. They really are. So, we're getting close to being done. we got two minutes left. I'll give a couple of channels a shout out. And, uh, one is Miss Worm. Miss Worm. One is, another is uh, Mac Bean Scottish Fitness. Another is Home Gym Hacks and Reviews. Another is Dose of Fitness. And there's probably a couple of others that I'm gonna miss. As far as video games go, let's touch on that. I'll plug Double Jump Video Games. Uh, they have a store in like Washington or something like that. Uh, Washington State, I think is where it's at. Uh, they have a really cool channel. They're nice people. You get connected with the people and they just got a lot of, a lot of nice videos and they show you how their business is ran and 
they're, they're good people. If you're into video game type stuff and uh, looking, and you're interested more on the store side. We got less than a minute, guys, and we made it. And on my bike, on this bike here, I try to keep my RPMs above 45. I'm usually between 45 and 48 on a standard. Sometimes I get up a smidgen higher. Sometimes I find myself actually 43 to 45. And when I see that, I'm like, got to get going. So, but try to keep your RPMs above 45. That's a nice pace. So I've had nobody join in, but that's okay. You can't always have a good live stream, and that's all right. And we're done. I always pedal for another second or two. Just for fun. Woo! All right, guys. Well, the most important thing is I get to go pee now. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, watch after the fact. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All of that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. You're incredible host. Have a good Thanksgiving. <laughs> Have a good Halloween. Thanksgiving. <laughs> You idiot! I can't do nothing about that. It's live. I can't fix it. You didn't hear what I said. Anyway, get up, get out, you're red. Do it to it. God, I gotta go pee!